All right, so I want to find a name that's available that I can put on my Minecraft account. Um, I want it to be a word, so let's search for five letter words. I think this site works pretty well. Um, yeah, so you can find all these words that are five letter, and you can copy as many as you want. And I think what I'll do is I'll just scroll all the way down, hold shift, and then click, and then control C, and then into Notepad++, control V. So it's important that you have like Notepad++ or something like it. Um, if you use regular Notepad, I don't think it has the same capabilities as Notepad++, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. It's really easy to install. Uh, so what I'm going to do is control F and go to replace and just replace space. You're going to do backslash, not forward slash, you want backslash N and change this thing to extended, the search mode down here to extended and then replace all. It'll take a second. There's like 8,000 words in here. Um, okay, so we have our list, right? And I could just go and like copy them and search them into name MC and see if they're available. But that's going to take me forever. So it's faster to control F and well, I'm already in here, but we're going to replace carrot. So shift six with this link. I have it right here. Cool. I'll put that in the description so you can copy it and go to regular expression and replace all. All right. So now you have your list of words. Let's say I can just, I'm going to just scroll down and I'm going to copy like a bunch of them. And then I'll go here and I'm going to make this bigger. And I have this cool Chrome extension that allows you to open multiple links at once. So I'm going to copy this whole list of them in here and I'll have a link to this Chrome extension in the description. And then you can just open them all. You might want to do less than I just did because this is going to freeze my PC. In fact, I may have done like way too many. I try to do under a hundred of them. Okay. You can see I'm loading up here. All right. So if it has a little globe thing on it, that means that it's taken, right? You can see here's the name, there's the UUID, but if it doesn't, that means it's available. So I don't even know how to pronounce that. I don't even think that's a word. Well, it's got to be a word, but yeah, as you can see, it's available. Obviously, who would want that as their name? Okay, so like, let's say I want the name Ilial in it. Looks like it's, hmm, it's available. Uh, sometimes you'll find these, um, like some of them are pretty good names, and then you'll see, okay, like Inner is probably not available. Like, yeah, you see, it's it's it'll be available in eight hours. Um, so you could find, use this as a way to find names that are coming up. Um, there's a whole lot of things you could do. You can check any of these names that are available and they'll be available. So you can really do this with anything. You could, you could type out a list of words in here that you want and check it once a week to see if be, any of them become available. Um, you could just like, yeah, let's say I have this whole list of words and I want to see if any of them are available. Yeah. You paste them into name or into notepad. Um, Control F, replace caret with um, API, Mojang, whatever. And you've got to make sure it's on a regular expression when you do that. That's really important. That's everything, I think. It's a pretty short video. Um, I could take one of these names, though, just to show you. I mean, obviously, they're available, but there you go. The name's mine. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching.